The movies that I chose for the mental health chapter included Girl Interrupted and Brain on Fire. From these movies, I was able to develop the theme of how self-concealment influences various mental health issues as well as suicide. So self-concealment can be defined as exactly how it sounds. It is the act of concealing aspects or things that people do from others because others may seem to perceive it as being distressful or negative. Um, a great example of this could be suicidal ideations or thoughts, um, as well as other mental health disorders such as um, PTSD, psychosis, or even external stimuli such as addictions, any type of addictions. The actual term self-concealment was coined by the American psychologist named James Pennebaker, who was studying the concept of self-disclosure and the many health benefits that came from self-disclosing during therapy or mental health um, interventions. And through his research on self-disclosure, he coined self-concealment and found that the exact opposite, there are many health risks or um, negative health mental health development that come from self-concealment. Self-concealment can be shown throughout many characters in Girl Interrupted. A lot of the girls who are in the psych ward there, um, they just want to be perceived as normal girls. So they talk about their love life, their dating life, their life after they get all, they, they get out um, living in their own apartments, their own houses, the type of jobs that they want to have. But really they're, they're concealing numerous types of mental health disorders, including eating disorders, um, personality disorders, mood disorders, and etc. In Brain on Fire, the main character is experiencing episodes of psychosis and seizures, and she doesn't really know why because there's no diagnosis to be made. But while she's experiencing um, symptoms of her psychosis when she's hearing voices in her head, um, at first she doesn't conceal because she doesn't know the diagnosis that there's something wrong with her. But whenever she does start to realize that there are something that right is not happening, and she's in a serious relationship, she starts to self-conceal from her boyfriend, which, and probably also herself, her coworkers, and her friends, which may cause her to go into de a depression and could act as a catalyst for th the other symptoms, although in the end, it was um, a diagnosis of a brain injury. So the topics that I'm going to be covering regarding the influence of self-concealment on various mental health disorders as well as suicide include trauma victims, self-concealment leading to suicide and suicidal attempts, um, PTSD victims, self-concealment leading to worsening conditions, and external influences on the development of self-concealment. So a lot of native people from North Korea migrated to other countries such as South Korea or even America in order to escape all of the dictatorship that's going on there. And, um, after they move, they experience a lot of trauma. They've experienced a lot of trauma in North Korea because of the strict government and the strict dictatorship. And um, whenever they move, they have to, you know, um, adapt to a new social environment. They have to um, learn a new language. And through this, they don't want to seem not normal. So they tend to self-conceal. Um, a lot of the social stigma makes them feel the need to conceal their trauma and because of this and the adjustment with moving to new places um, a lot of the residents who moved have been having episodes of suicidal thoughts and suicidal ideations the second topic related to this concept was ptsd victims self-concealment leading to worsening conditions this was specifically referenced from um people in prison who experience prison aggression and violence. Um, they may develop anger through certain situations of detainment or leaks in the justice system. And the anger may make them, or the effects, the origins of the anger may cause PTSD. The anger um, comes from them self-concealing, not really being able to have an outlet because again, in prison systems, they don't really have good resources such as therapy or mental health or good mental health opportunities. So they probably just self-conceal and it manifests and um, they lash out in angry actions. Um, so anger coupled with self-concealment may develop 
overwhelming emotions and prompt further diseases such as mood disorders, depression, anxiety, and all that kind of stuff. The last topic that I covered on this concept was the external influences on development of self-concealment. External influences can include a number of things such as addiction or any type of addiction to drugs, alcohol, food, um, stimuli. So stuff like video games or social media, any type of stimuli. This one um, specifically persists to the internet stimuli. Um, stimulations may not seem harmful, but they can lead to addictions such as the internet. Self-concealment of these addictions can lead to further issues such as self-injury or development of serious mental conditions. So for example, if I'm um, addicted to using the internet all day and I'm a college student, um, it might prompt me to skip class or because I was up late watching videos or playing video games and my alarm goes off, goes off I may want to sleep longer because I was up late last night playing my video games. So it can cause... Um, self-injury through stuff like that it can also just cause lack of sleep overall which is a form of self-injury whether you're conscious of it or not um and not a lot of people know it but they won't show um their struggle with this type of addiction so just to reiterate as we know self-consumment was coined by studying self-disclosure um, it's important to understand because it can lead to many more severe conditions or even suicide. Um, trauma, things like trauma, uh, mental health symptoms such as PTSD trauma can lead to self-concealment and self-concealment can lead to suicide or suicidal attempts. Um, PTSD may cause anger or confusion. This anger or confusion coupled with self-concealment may cause worsening conditions such as mood disorders, as I mentioned before, and the worsening conditions may lead to poor quality of life and even suicide. Uh, external influences such as the internet may lead to addiction. Addiction can cause self-concealment and self-concealment may lead to self-injury in any form. Um, so for future conversation, with this being said and this being known, um, I think it's very important to, to spread awareness on the concept of self-concealment and how it may affect current and future conditions and just stress how important it is to disclose rather than conceal when in therapy sessions or when being asked about mental health and well-being. Um, and just give examples and encourage those who may be experiencing self-concealment that they are not alone, that a lot of people go through these types of situations and that they should reach out for help before anything escalates or it becomes too late.